I think another trend that we're seeing is well established and continuing, been around for many years, is the desire for consumers to, to change their diet to improve their health. Um, no different to the trend that's been around for many years, but maybe there are some different things they're looking for. Certainly they're looking to continue to watch their calories, but now they're also looking to do things like reduce sugar intake or reduce not just the fats, but the type of fats that they eat. Uh, maybe want to increase certain things in their diet like vegetable protein. So, so that, that whole trend of thinking about how to get a healthy diet is stronger than ever. So another example of where we're doing um, something new to bring uh, healthy oils into the marketplace that don't exist today is everyone's heard of omega-3 oils and omega-3 oils high in, in EPA and DHA. Traditionally you get those from fish, they're from fish oil. And there's an increasing demand overall for fish but unfortunately a limited quantity of fish in the oceans today. And so the sustainability of, of, the, of fish from our oceans is a big issue uh, for the world. But there's an increasing demand for omega-3 oils and for fish for that matter. So one of the projects that we're doing to try and find another way to produce omega-3 oils is by breeding a new variety of canola that's naturally high in omega-3 oils. And one of the interesting things to just complete the loop on that story is that one of the markets for omega-3 oils is in aquafeed because in order to also address the whole issue of fish sustainability, there's a growing aquafeed industry. And of course, they incorporate these fish oil type, type materials in their aquafeeds. And so we're closing the loop. We're creating omega-3s from, from canola, and we'll even be able to supply the, uh, the fish farms to produce more sustainable fish in the future.